Hello viewers, welcome back to the Medical Board Exam Experience with Dr. Kwafu. The Medical Board Exams of many countries is conducted in English medium, but there are few countries that do not conduct their exams in English language. One of these countries is Germany. Germany conducts the exams in German language. Be that as it may, every year, thousands of foreign trained doctors pass the German medical board exams to practice in Germany. The German language is divided into different levels. We have the level A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, and C2. Today we have Raman Maheshwari. He is going to tell us how these foreign trained medical doctors are able to study the German language to pass the German Medical Council Board exams. And in fact, which level do they focus on to help them pass these exams? Let us join Dr. Rahman in our it discussion. Is necessary for for someone to learn German language before going to Germany? See, this is very subjective question. If you ask me someone now, it depends whom you are talking about. If you are talking about a medical person, definitely it is required. I'll tell you why it is required. If you talk about a non-medical person, there are cases whether it might be required or might not be required. Okay, so one by one, let's uh, discuss that. First, I'll take the uh, medical people, especially if you talk about the doctors and the nurses. So you have seen like, you know, many, Germany is a country which is pioneer in medical research. Yes. Right. So we have seen like many doctors, uh, they do their uh, bachelors in some other country or in their native country and then they move on to Germany for their masters. From India, I have uh, been, we have been training doctors from the doctors I'm talking specifically, doctors from uh, my own country, India and from the nearby countries including uh, Bangladesh, uh, right? Uh, a few from uh, the Middle East countries like Saudi Arabia, Dubai, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, a few from UK, a few from US. So uh, we have been observing this trend that the doctors have, and you know, now this is basically increasing. Earlier it was, there was not uh, that much visibility, but what I have seen in the last uh, two years actually, especially after 2019, lot of visibility has come uh, and uh, uh, many more medical people have been aspiring to go to Germany either for their masters or for their job and it's not just like that only doctors are going the other uh, uh, people who are basically uh, kind of nurses you can say the nursing staff many are going from there if I talk about India we have a state here uh, Kerala it's a state in South India southern India so you know like uh, if we have many Keralites uh, a lot of people who are working already in the Middle East countries like Dubai, Qatar, and from there, uh, they are going to planning to go to Germany in their uh, nursing field for okay. jobs specifically. So a lot of scope is there, right? Uh, because of the better job options there, better career options, better stability, uh, many factors are there. So if you ask me whether German is necessary or not necessary, see, definitely it is necessary. For a medical person, definitely it is necessary. It is, it is a necessity. So uh, whether it's a person from a nursing background or whether it is a person from a medical field, if the person wants to work there, if the person wants to go for their master's degree, then definitely you need to learn and you need to learn not only the basics, you need to learn till the advanced levels, okay. right? German, as you know, it's a European language. So in all the European languages, we have a classification of levels, right? Just like in short, if I say something kind of called as basic level, intermediate, advanced, so they have given a proper term to this, like A1 level, A2 level, then after that you have your B1, B2, C1, C2, right? Okay. So if I talk about for a medical person, for non-medical, I'll discuss after this, but let's talk about the medical people first. For the medical people, if you ask me that uh, what level of German is required, it is clearly stated that the C1 level is required, okay? okay? Sometimes they ask for the B2 level or sometimes they ask for B2 plus medical C1. Once you, there is one common C1, okay, common C1, which we have done, right? And there's a specific C1, which, uh, uh, which, is, which is required by the medical people. So that is, you can, you can consider a subset of C1, a basic part of C1. So in that, what happens, you basically deal with the medical terms, right? Let's say just uh, a person is uh, checking, uh, let's say I'm having fever, just suppose. Okay, so I might be having some symptoms, right? 
Mm-hmm. I might be having running nose. I might be having headache and all that. So all these basically, uh, in short, I would tell you because I'm not an expert of that thing, right? I have not done medical C1. We have done basic C1, the overall C1. But for medical C1, whatever, as far as I know, it is basically morely related to the medical field. You will be having your medical terms. The uh, and it's a very short course, right? So that's a very short course. Medical C1. It's a very short course. The initial challenge is to clear the A1 till B2 levels for doctors. That is the biggest challenge. If you clear B2 level, then the doors are open. Then all that, you know, medical C1, 99% people, they prefer to do the medical C1 in Germany itself. Right? Okay. You know, in Germany, uh, every state offers a different kind of, uh, uh, it's not necessary that whatever is specialization you are uh, doing, planning to do in one state, that will be available in a different state also in Germany. Okay. So, uh, all that medical C1, uh, as per your field, like someone is going for radiology or someone is going for any other field, then as per the field, you have to do that uh, medical C1, which people prefer to do in Germany itself. Okay. So, for doctors, if you ask me that, what is the what is the actual plan? Like, what is the path to go? The path starts from the language you need to learn till the B2 level, first of all, and then the medical C1. So, when you do your, pursue your medical C1, parallelly, you can start applying for the uh, jobs there, right? Uh, parallelly with your, uh, uh, that thing, with your medical C1 training, you can parallelly apply for the part-time jobs there and then you can get your uh, thing converted into the permanent thing out of that. Okay. okay. So after okay. studying the medical B1, is there a standard test that you have to take to prove yes, that you yes. finished that course? Definitely, definitely, definitely. You know, all the European languages, they have a body which is actually handling all these things. Okay, it's an international body. The name of the body is Goethe Institute. It's G-O-E-T-H-E, Goethe Institute. Okay, okay. in some places, it's called, in India, it's called Max Müller Bhavan. And worldwide, it's called Goethe Institute. So the Goethe Institute is having its offices all over the world, right? In all of the majority of the metro cities, if you talk about US, they have office in San Francisco. If you talk about... Uh, Dubai, they have in Dubai, if you talk about Germany, obviously in Germany, everywhere they have most of the cities. In India, they have the offices like in uh, New Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, metro cities, I would say, all Dhaka in Bangladesh, in Pakistan. So, okay. metro cities, they have the office. So, you know, when the person learns the language, he needs to apply for that uh, uh, Gyote exam, he needs to clear that. So, okay. level by level, the exams are there, right? First of all, you write the exam of A1, then A2, then B1, then B2. I'll get into this thing in more detail, right? Uh, just to, uh, in the coming time, I'll get into more detail that which exam you need to write. Okay. It's not necessary that a doctor needs to write all the four exams. Okay. Right? Okay. 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 Uh, so, as I so, told you that table. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Tell me. Okay. So since we are talking about the exams, different types now, which exams, yeah. like if I want to work in Germany as a doctor, mm-hmm. which, as, which uh, mm-hmm. language test do I have to learn first? What is this? Yes, yes, yes. German language, as I told you, German language uh, test you have to give, and the exam is conducted at the Goethe Institute. So which right? one is uh, it? The exam is. Would I just uh, go go straight to the C I, I one or the B? Okay. Yes, yes. I'm getting into that thing. See what happens first. I'll tell you that okay, the exam is conducted by Goethe Institute. It is basically held uh, almost uh, once in two months. Mm-hmm. Okay, kind of like biannually, right? In every uh, bi monthly, sorry. Okay, in every 45 to 60 days, they conduct the exam all over the world. Now, what happens is that, see, there are two approaches. One approach is that that I am writing the exam level by level. I am writing, first of all, the A1 exam, then the A2 exam, then the B1, and the B2 exam. That is one standard approach which many people follow. But apart from that, there is one more approach which uh, many times I have seen people, uh, if you do the efforts properly, if you uh, practice the language properly, if you uh, study the course properly, you can directly write the B1 exam. Okay? Okay. You can directly write the B1 exam. It is not at all necessary to write down the A1A2 exam before you write down the B1 exam. It's not at all necessary. So that is also one good approach, right? Uh, you know, it depends person to person. Many times people go step by step, right? Uh, they write the A1 exam first, then A2, then B1, then B2, so on. And many times I've seen people directly writing the B1 exam. It is not that much easy, but you know, if uh, I'm just talking about a cost saving approach actually, indirectly. Okay. You know, exam is, exam is obviously a little bit uh, expensive. You know, if you go to Germany, it's like more than 200 euros for a single level. Mm-hmm. So overall, if you compare 800 euros are gone into the exam fees only. Yeah. Okay. 
so in order to save that amount right for a person who is planning to go to germany you know like it is already a little bit uh, uh, kind of in terms of money you have to choose a approach which can save your money instead of wasting the money so if the person does effort properly if he takes the course properly uh, if he studies properly he can directly write down the b1 exam so that is one approach yeah now if you ask me that till what level he needs to write the exam so the thing is till the gyothe b2 level you need to write the exam first okay and then medical c1 is conducted in germany only that is for a later thing but yeah before you plan to go before you even think to go that okay now i want to work there i want to go there i want to settle down there as a doctor or as a nurse or as a uh, nursing staff whatever uh, related staff then you should go target the b2 level first of all okay, okay. that opens the door so why i am not saying don't write down the b2 directly that's not that much easy it's not a it not it's basically not everyone's cup of tea it's not that much easy mm-hmm. okay but b1 is something which is which is realistic if you study properly if you put efforts properly you can directly write down the b1 exam mm-hmm. indirectly saving your a1 a2 exam fees okay so you can see like 400 euros you can save here directly you can write down the b1 exam see it is just like that you know you are studying in a standard 10th in a school so once you clear the standard 10th exam the standard 9th mark sheet gets wasted just like that okay and once you clear the next class then the previous mark sheet is of no use it is just like that once you have cleared the b1 exam nobody is going to check or ask your a1 a2 certificate and once you have cleared the b2 exam nobody is going to ask for b1 certificate that is well understood that when a person has done b1 level that means he is already like having knowledge of a1 a2 so that is uh, one advantage which uh, many people don't know actually this thing many people don't know we get lot of inquiries from doctors and all so you know many people are actually not aware of what all you are asking they are not at all aware of this that okay how to uh, plan there how to go what exam we need to write what kind of language we need to learn and uh, basically what happens see uh, if the person doesn't has full knowledge then obviously he'll go step by step he'll write a1 a2 and all that thing so this is what again i'm repeating to all the people who are listening this video you can directly write down the b1 exam but again the condition is your efforts should be of that level okay b1 is also you know b1 is basically kind of intermediate level b1 is basically that you can survive in a german environment you can speak you can communicate you can understand what others are speaking and you can uh, convert at least uh, 70 to 75% of your thoughts into german that is called as b1 level Okay. so that requires lot of effort a minimum 5 to 6 months of training is there from even till b1 once you are confident in that then you write down the b1 that is okay. one very good approach which a person should follow to save down the money and the time also okay. so you mean that to prepare for the b1 you need about 5 to 6 months on average 5 to 6 again it uh, depends on uh, the person you know what happens if i directly talk about doctors doctors have a very busy schedule okay what we have learned in the past you know our trainings the doc, how we are dealing to medical people is that we have specific one to one classes right one to one trainings are there one to one means that only one student will be there mm-hmm. instead of having a group so i'll tell you the advantage and uh, of that one to one the biggest advantage is flexibility right when we started training doctors you know it happened to us that every alternate day the person is either having a medical duty right nowadays it's like already very hectic because of this corona and all but uh, if i talk about the year 2017 18 right when all these the things were normal in the world at that time also we were seeing that you know like doctors were having such a schedule whatever doctors we had uh, today they are having duty then you know the schedule is not fixed actually that's the biggest problem you okay. cannot predict when a doctor will come to home from his duty tomorrow that is the biggest thing Mm-hmm. okay and that is with everyone whether the person is a, a doctor in india or whether is a doctor in germany or whatever what i have seen um, right as far as my knowledge is there you cannot predict a time i cannot say that okay by 8 or 8 pm tomorrow you will definitely come and you will attend the class so lot of uncertainty is there the schedule is not clear so because of this uh, uh, the biggest advantage which is there while learning with us is that we have a specific one to one batches one to one means that it's totally flexible right and you are not going to miss any class even if you tell us 5 minutes or 10 minutes before that okay we are not available i am having some meeting or whatever we will skip the class we will postpone the class but you are not going to miss a class which is not the case in a group class right if i have a group class if i have five people just suppose and just suppose that one person is not coming the lecture will not be cancelled the lecture will be there and the person who didn't attend that he will basically miss that lecture 
Okay. So that is the trouble. So okay. for doctors, I would suggest you wherever you learn. For all the medical people, I will suggest you wherever you learn the language, right? Whether you learn uh, online, whether you learn offline, make sure that your lectures are not missed. And for that, the best approach is one to one. That is the best approach. Okay. okay. So uh, you should follow that thing. So if you ask me the time, how much time it takes? See, in one to one, as I told you, we cannot fix the number of months. Today, if I am giving a, uh, if someone is taking a lecture, it might happen for five days. He is not available. Coming week, he is not available. So okay. we don't have something uh, that I can fix uh, the timing. I can fix the number of months. It's not like that. Instead of that, in the one to one classes, we have fixed number of lectures actually. Right. So if you talk about A1 till B2, which is basically related to doctors, A1 till B2, we have 100 plus minus five lectures okay. total. 100 plus minus five lectures. Now how it works, each lecture is of one hour, specific, dedicated one to one. After each lecture, you will be getting like three hours of home assignment approximately. Okay. okay. So if you calculate the total number of man hours, which are required in reaching B2 level for an average person, I am saying, right? Mm -hmm. Not a genius, I am saying an average person. So it will be 100 hours of training plus 300 hours of effort. So total 400 man hours are required. 400 man hours of effort is required to reach that uh, level of fluency, wherein you can actually speak to a person super fluently. And, uh, you know, like, uh, see, if it comes to doctors, the fluency is a very, very big thing which matters. Okay, right? If you are dealing with a patient and if you if you don't understand the language in germany there are people who don't know basic english many are there mm -hmm. if you go to villages there if you go to uh, the city outskirts there in switzerland or germany you will see people don't know english right they're like uh, hardcore german people right mm -hmm. that happens in every country you know whatever is their native language they are very good in that but it is not necessary that everyone will be knowing english so at that time when you are in such a profession that your uh, uh, interaction is lot with the people Right, a doctor has to meet uh, multiple people in a single day. So obviously, it is very much essential that the person should be good in the communicational uh, skills, especially okay. basically the speaking and the listening skills. Right, it's not like like that. You should be able to speak. The second case is that you should be able to understand also what other person is speaking. Okay, so okay. that is one very important thing. So that much uh, effort is required. So 400, uh, I would say 100 lectures are required now. Uh, for every person, we have a frequency of two to three lectures in a week. Okay. That is the frequency we target. Because as I told you, after each lecture, you will be having like three hours of assignment. So uh, everyday lectures is not possible. The person cannot study four hours in a day after having a hectic duty of 10 to 12 hours, 15 hours. That's not possible. We have seen like, you know, doctors give us the feedback like since one day they have not slept a uh, complete night. They were in the OT and they, uh, they were having lack of sleep and all that. Many factors are there which are basically a hindrance. Right, the schedule is that much hectic. So that's why we prefer uh, to have like a maximum two to three lectures in a week. Okay, if the person is not available, as I told you, the course is totally flexible. There is no foundation to attend the lecture. You can skip the class, you can prepone the class, you can postpone the class. But on average, our target is to keep two to three sessions. So if you calculate 100 lectures, that means like eight to 10 lectures in a month, that takes easily, it takes eight to nine months to reach A1 till B2 level, easily. Okay, so, so the different, um test which one prepares the doctor to write the medical board exams is it the c or the b1 or the c1 which one really after, mm -hmm. after b2 you have to write down the medical exam the medical c1 is done after b2 only first of all you need to have the b2 certificate okay so that you can actually get the visa and you can go there right and prepare for the c1 the c1 is the language mm -hmm. that is focused only on medical skills like the medical yeah, only 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 the medical C1 you need to do. The doctor, people are not required to do complete C1. See, complete C1, just like we have done complete C1, that is for a person, two types of people do. One is that people uh, who are taking admissions in German universities and their mm -hmm. curriculum is in German, right? Mm -hmm. The books are in German. So they are the university demand the C1 certificate, okay. right? For doctors, 99% I have seen, B2 plus medical C1 is more than sufficient. Complete C1 is not required. If the person wants to do, he can do that, but it is not mandatory. Okay. So someone can write the medical board exam and pass with a B2? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, after B2, as I told you, after B2, you are eligible to get the visa and all, right? And once you go there, once you uh, live there, once your internship and everything starts there, then obviously you can have the medical C1 at that time there itself. So that is like, okay. uh, with that, your uh, 
that uh, uh, the visa gets changed and it gets converted into a permanent job visa there once you done okay okay so so compared to other languages how difficult is the german language is it difficult to learn i would uh, see it's a very subjective question easiness and difficulty depends person to person okay mm-hmm. but uh, overall if i tell you it is not a difficult language it is difficult only when you are not doing it systematically if the person is not doing the grammar the grammar is little bit complex no doubt if you compare it with uh, french or spanish or english i have idea of french also i have idea of spanish also basic idea of italian also if i compare uh, these three four languages along with german and along with english right i would suggest you that english is the most simplest and german is the most not toughest but yeah most complex in terms of grammar some topics are there which are basically uh, complex and uh, uh, you know the biggest problem in this language which i have seen the grammar is not documented properly that is the biggest problem okay. there is no single source which i can say that okay this is the complete list of rules that is the problem so a okay. lot of grammar is there which is basically you know it's in the air kind of conventions okay right basically kind of conventions undocumented conventions which are not written anywhere not uh, documented properly anywhere but yeah the people speak like that no exceptions are lot i would say conventions in terms of exceptions and second problem they are not documented properly so okay. until and unless uh, uh, the source from which you are learning until unless if the source is not genuine right just suppose if i say if i don't know the rules right and if i am teaching without having uh, full knowledge or without having complete knowledge then definitely the person who will learn he will also speak the language wrongly yeah and second you cannot cross check it everywhere you cannot cross check it on google i can show you tens of mistakes of german on google if you translate english to german you will get i can show you two sentences which are having same answer on google so there are many areas wherein the software also fails google is basically just a search engine right it is having some algorithm some rules in the back end on that basis it is converting the answer into a different language so there are some cases where we have seen that the grammar is even not clearly mentioned there so uh, that is the thing you know uh, some aspects are little bit uh, complex but yeah if you if you are learning from a correct source if your source is genuine if your source has stayed there and it depends on the person's experience also how much time he has been training and all then it's not a problem once you have the complete list of rules then i would say it is actually very easy okay you have the grammar properly it's very easy but if you don't have the grammar that is very difficult i'll tell you example of today only right right now 2 3 uh, hour back i was having a training session that person is in austria in vienna so he is having his colleagues from us actually right uh, so today i taught him one topic right uh, that is basically part of uh, b1 level so i had this topic and then he just showed me one paper he said that raman this is my colleague in us and he is he, he had already learned that language the other person he had already learned till b2 and he just told me that uh, his grammar is he his words were that his grammar is very poor that was that was his feedback right so you can understand he and that person is already holding the b1 b2 certificate so you will find this kind of people also you know having a certificate does not mean that you are super fluent in the language or you are speaking correctly i'll tell you what happens in the certification exams you need to attain only 60% okay okay only 60% you need to attain so you can understand the person who has attained 61% he is also certified b1 and a person who attains 90% he is also certified b1 okay. right we have uh, people uh, who have learned from us who have scored 98 or 99% also in b1 right and uh, it is not like that everyone clears the exam there are people if you don't do the effort and obviously you are going to lack in the exam okay. right but we have seen people i get lot of inquiries when the person says that i have already done a2 i have already done b1 and i cannot speak simply so okay. you can understand this kind of people are already there that uh, people are having b1 b2 certificate and still they are having a, a fear of speaking or uh, they are not clear with the grammar these kind of things happen okay. so grammar is very very important which uh, if you are learning the language you need to learn the language properly with the rules right from lecture number 1 from the pronunciation itself Okay. okay so so if you if you follow that approach then the language definitely becomes very easy after that okay so if someone writes the test and he fails um mm-hmm. is the person allowed to retake it and how many times can he retake the exams yes i'll tell you about the exam see exam is uh, the exam is having four modules reading okay. writing listening and speaking in all the european languages they have the same pattern reading writing listening and speaking so these modules they are basically the exam is conducted in a span of two days right uh, i'm talking about b1 b2 
A1 is conducted all together in one day. B1, B2, they conduct like uh, some centers conduct in two days. Like two modules they will take today, and remaining two modules they will take tomorrow. Okay. So as I told you, uh, in B1 and B2 both, you have to attain 60% marks in all the modules okay. plus 60% on average complete result. Okay. Right, I'm repeating again. Four modules are there: reading, writing, listening, speaking. So, 60% you have to attain in each module, plus overall 60% in the complete result. Overall, after adding the marks of four modules, so that average should be cumulative 60%. Okay, okay. that is one thing. Now, just suppose that a person lacks in one module. Let's say I cleared reading, writing, listening, and in speaking, I missed by uh, 10 marks. I missed by 10%. Okay. okay. The biggest advantage which we have here in B1-B2 modules is that that if you miss a module or if you miss multiple modules, you are not required to write down the full paper again. You are oh. supposed to write down that particular module only. That is one advantage. Okay. okay. Second, your question was how many attempts are there? See, as such, there is there are no attempts. Okay. So you can you can clear them in n number of attempts, but but obviously we don't have to fall in that category because as I told you, the exam is chargeable. It's not free of cost. Yeah. Right, so number of attempts you write, obviously you need to pay the fees also and number. So of how much is the fees? The registration fee. The registration fees for the exam is a little bit different in every country. Okay. Okay. So if I talk about Germany, it's approximately two fifty euros in Germany, okay. right? Uh, in India. For one module or for maybe B one. Complete. I am saying complete paper. Complete paper. Okay. So complete exam. Mm -hmm. If you write module wise also a little bit variation is there okay little bit variation is there but overall the fees is almost almost uh, nearby to that figure only right okay. so i am giving you an approximate figure as i told you it is different in every country in us the fees is little bit different it is like uh, thousand uh, i would say like 10 to 15 dollars uh, lesser as compared to 50 euros if i talk about india if i the fees here for b1 exam is like INR 14,000 right now, if you convert it into euros, it's approximately like around uh, 170 euros. So little bit uh, variation is there country by country, but overall, if I talk about Germany, it's like 200 to 250 euros approximately for uh, one level, per level. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so how can, if someone wants to contact you, first of all, let's talk about the financial aspect. How much mm -hmm. does it cost to prepare someone to be ready for the B1 and the B2? Yes, yes. I'll, I'll tell you that. So before that, I would like to uh, share my screen, right? Uh, okay. uh, can you enable the screen sharing if possible? I want to show one website to people uh, just what all uh, products we have in our domain and of courses we have, right? Uh, so here is our website. The name of the website is uh, namastegerman.com, right? Okay. Okay, all that uh, link and all you can provide to your uh, viewers after that. I'll tell you, see, basically we have two types of courses as I told you. One is that we have the Skype one-to-one uh, uh, -one live classes, Skype or Zoom. You know, in many countries, the Skype is blocked. If you talk about Middle East countries in Dubai and Saudi Arabia and all, the Skype is not working many times. So we take the classes on Zoom also or on Bottom also. Many apps are there. Okay, okay. Uh, right so if I talk about the courses which we have, see one is that, uh, one is this one, the Skype one-to-one -one live classes. Skype one-to-one -one live classes about which we were discussing. And the second course which we have is uh, this one, the pen drive course, the recorded course. Okay. okay. So I'll tell you what is there in the recorded course and then I'll come to the financials and the fee aspects of both the courses. Right. So live classes, we have already discussed Skype live to live classes. They are basically conducted live. One on one personal training is there. Personal mentoring is there. That is one thing. Second thing which I am telling is that we have a recorded course, recorded video course. In this, what you will be getting, we have, you know, we have all the recordings of our live classes in this. Okay. We have all the recordings of our live classes in this. I'll just uh, show you some things here. This is, you can see the German A1, A2, B1 combo, or you can see this German A1, A2, B1, B2 combo. The complete yes. package is right. So if I click on this view full details button here, you will, it will take you to the course description page. Then if I click on view detail, full details button here, you will see all the lectures coming up one by one here. So mm. initial one or two lectures are unlocked and the remaining lectures will be logged up there. Okay. Just hold on. We'll load in a second. I can open it from a link once again. Okay.
so so the the recorded one you can download mm -hmm. it free from the website or how is it no no it's not free obviously it's uh, not free they are basically the paid ones I'll, yeah this is the page so see here if you see here all the lectures are uh, available here from lecture number 1 2 3 so on you can see all oh, the okay. lectures still okay lecture number 120 approximately right so they are all locked up right now the first lecture is uh, first initial one or two lectures are visible right okay. so this okay. is clear if you see here the lecture will load here so that's the thing so it will load in this uh, section right it will play in this section and once once the person buys the complete course right you can access it you can sign up from here if i sign in here just see here okay i'll, I'll sign in with a account of some uh, existing user okay yeah when the person has already bought the complete package right uh, his course is listed here like this okay so we provide lifetime access here on the website so once you click here again you have to follow the same step once you go there then you can see all the lectures coming up right away they are now they're all unlocked okay okay so any lecture i can click anywhere i can click let's say i can and click on lecture number 70. so now you see here the lecture number 70 is coming up you can see here okay okay so that's the thing right if i play it here just uh, see this Mm -hmm. Just giving you a sample, then we'll discuss the further thing. Yeah. These are the original recordings of my live classes. So I'll just tell you the utility of that. See, videos and all, you will get a lot of videos on YouTube for free. YouTube mm -hmm. or even Udemy or many places. The biggest USP here is that these are, yeah, see this. Yeah. So this is the live recording of my Skype one to one class. Okay. Right. Okay. The original recording you've seen that Skype calling was going on there. Okay, if you see here, yeah, see this. Okay. One, two, three, four, all four will be covered. Sorry, not went. That's a simple pass. Okay. Simple. Yes. Okay. Yeah. For people. So this is the original recording of our uh, Skype one to one class. You know the biggest advantage with this course. If you ask me that, what is the uh, benefit of this course? Many. If you go to YouTube, you will get millions of videos there, totally free. Right. So why why this will work? The biggest advantage is that, as I told you, this is the original recording of our live classes, which is capturing all the student teacher interaction going on there. Okay. okay. So the thing is, you know, this is the last resort. You know, the first option is that that you should go for the Skype one to one class. That is the best thing. If you can go for that, that is the best thing. But many times it happens that the person is not having time even for the live classes. Right. The person is so busy that he is not having time even for the live classes. Okay. So in that cases, we have this option available. Many of the medical people, many of the doctors have already availed it uh, from uh, India itself. Right. Uh, so here you will be getting all the recordings of my classes one by one, all the material, all the files you will be getting. Plus directly you will be having unlimited free doubt clearing sessions. Okay. First thing is that, see, the frequency of doubts is very less because as I told you, this is the original recording of live classes, okay. right? So the student teacher interaction is already captured. It's already recorded. You will see the person who is standing there is he or she is already asking so many questions, which we are answering here. Okay. okay. All that gets recorded, right? But even after that, if the person is having some doubt and all, he can directly reach to us directly on WhatsApp or Skype and he can clarify his doubts, right? Okay. Second thing, if I talk about the assignments that how we are conducting the assignments, you can see this. This is one sheet of uh, two doctors who have already cleared their uh, B2 already. Oh, okay. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both of them were husband and wife. They cleared in the year 2019. You can see this is their assignment sheet. Okay, I'll just minimize this. This is their assignment sheet. Topic by topic, the assignments are there. Topic by topic. Okay. You can see all the topics which we have taught. You can see their sentences and everything, all the activities which you have done in the class. Mm -hmm. Everything documented here and we are using this Google Doc here for the assignments. Okay, we have moved to a completely like complete digital platform. We are not using any uh, notebook and anything for writing and all. Okay, because you know, if you document everything properly here now, if you see everything is documented here properly, it's auto saved. Okay, so even after five years or 10 years, if you want to revise your language, if you want to uh, revise the grammar topics, you can you can do everything from here. Okay, okay. Right. So that's the biggest advantage of this, you know, the note notebook, if you write, it will get destroyed in one year or two years. But uh, if you store everything in the soft copy, it will be there with you throughout your life, right? You can access it, access this sheet from the Google app, uh, Google Doc app also. You can okay. access it from your laptop also, anywhere you can access. So the same kind of assignments we are giving to the 
people who are buying this recorded course okay. okay so the content is same if you ask me the content difference the content is same in both the content is same for the uh, live classes and the same there for the recorded course the only difference is that at the recorded course is basically kind of pre recorded and the live classes are held live that is the only difference mm -hmm. now when you come to the financials okay so i'll just uh, show you one image i'll better try to tell the fees is in us dollar so that the person it's easy for the person to understand yeah so you can uh, can you see my screen yeah i can see very well oh, yes great so this is the thing you know this is our fees structure for the skype uh, one to one live classes right so here the levels are mentioned a1 a1 a2 a1 a2 b1 a1 a2 b1 b2 and a1 till c1 so usually for the medical people a1 till b2 is required okay so the overall fees for that is approximately 1000 euros uh, so sorry 1000 dollars for that okay, okay and if you go level by level it's like 250 dollars or like uh, 500 dollars for a1 a2 approximately okay right so little bit 5 10% difference is there if uh, uh, the this is for are, how many months this is uh, level wise i told you know we don't have any monthly system we have number of lectures actually okay so if you ask me a1 till b2 we have total 100 sessions right okay if you, okay. It, if you ask me how many months are there it takes easily it takes 7 to 8 months to finish minimum it will take a1 till b2 okay okay so so maybe yeah. the the 1020 usd is for maybe 8 months 7 to 8 months easily easily 8 okay. months minimum it will take okay that's yeah. good okay okay and it covers all the four levels a1 a2 b1 b2 with the exam preparation with the gyothe exam preparation reading writing listening speaking all the modules are covered in that completely. okay 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 yeah okay and the a1 to c1 is 1200 yes yes 1300 okay. approximately okay for medical people see it's not necessary to do c1 better thing is that go for a1 till b2 Okay, okay. Uh, that is the best thing. Many times people go for A1 till B1 first, and then they extend for B2. So all that is there, and this fees also it's not required to be paid all together. We accept installments, right? So the fees payments are available in installments. You can do it in like two installment or three installment or A1 okay. till B2 like that. And uh, the fees payments we have all the modes available. We accept PayPal also. The transactions in dollar, uh, euro, all the almost all uh, modes are accepted, including Western Union. All are accepted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so if if someone wants to contact you, um, mm -hmm. okay, I can see you are. Yes. Yes. In... Just one last thing. Sorry to interrupt you. Just one last thing. This is the fees for the Skype one-on-one -on -one class. Okay. If you talk about the video course, the fees is much lesser. Okay. 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 The fees is much lesser, right? If you talk about the video course, this is the A one fee. This is I N R eight thousand. That is approximately like hundred. Uh, sorry, approximately hundred uh, dollars. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 And if you talk about A1 till B2, it's approximately like uh, uh, something around two fifty dollars for A1 till B2 complete. Okay. So the same thousand uh, dollars which the person was spending there for the live classes, same content he can get in the video course. You no, know, everything has its own uh, plus minus. The live classes are, if you ask me, in terms of uh, uh, output, which is the best one? You know, Skype one to one classes are definitely the best one. Okay. okay. But this is a workaround for those people. who are right now busy and they are not able to uh, attend the live classes so at least they should not uh, wait for uh, the correct time to uh, happen or you know they should not wait uh, for the time to get over at least they can start the language learning from this so we have one more uh, uh, add on in this you know what happens when the person enrolls for the video course right mm -hmm. just suppose that you have enrolled for the a1 till b2 video course and this whatever 250 dollar is there Okay. I N R eighteen five hundred. That's approximately two fifty dollars. So what happens once you access the A one till B two course? After that, if you find out that okay, the course was done, now I would like to go for the one one on one classes. Okay. Right. Earlier I was busy, so I attended the video course. But now I would like to go for the live classes. So all this money which you pay here, all that gets adjusted into that fees. Okay. okay. So if you pay two fifty dollars here. All that two fifty dollars will be adjusted in that in that thousand dollars. So only the balance you have to pay. So this money never goes wasted. Okay, yeah. we have many dollars. We have many doctors right now learning who started with the video course. They joined for uh, basic A one A two first of all. Okay, you know because many times they are in a 
experimental mode right they are still not clear whether they are going to germany or whether they are not going to germany they are still not clear whether they will be able to learn the language or whether they won't be able to learn the language mm -hmm. so for them we have this uh, economical solution that okay if you want to give a try to the language first okay if you want to just see okay how much efforts are required what kind of content is there what kind of because here everything you can see i told you the content is same original live class recordings are there all the quality all the output input everything you can see here what we are teaching what kind of assignments are there so yeah. the person can have a very good understanding of the course that what's going to happen in the coming sessions mm -hmm. with this basic video course right and when you are like totally when you get totally serious that okay now i have to seriously i have to migrate to germany i want to go there then you can convert this video course into the live classes by paying the balance fees only okay okay, okay. yes so so i can see some point of contact is 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 that what uh someone can contact yes. with the whatsapp yes, yes the person can contact me directly on whatsapp whatsapp is preferable okay instead of direct calling if the person whatsapps me on this number it's plus nine one the country code and then okay. my phone number it's nine six three six seven zero three seven eight nine that's the okay. contact number the person can whatsapp here directly apart from that if the person wants to contact me on skype many times people are not having uh this thing whatsapp many times people don't have so on bottom also we have the same number if the person uses bottom it's okay. 9636703789 if the person uh, wants to contact on skype skype the id is it's like raman underscore malfani and jaipur you will get two three ids there so this is the id one id is from jaipur you can contact here if okay. the person wants to contact me on email he can drop me directly at raman malpani at the rate gmail.com or you can contact at namaste german at the rate gmail.com both are uh, same you can contact anywhere okay okay so the the payment is it uh you you the person has to pay before mm -hmm. or he can start and pay during the process or he can initially, pay up to pay the rest yeah. later yes yes i will tell you initially we have one free demo lecture available okay okay right uh, one free demo lecture live live demo one free live demo is available one on one okay. okay so that's the thing so person can attend this and once he's satisfied with the demo then he can book the classes so in that way we go right uh, this is the process to go and uh, after the demo is over then uh, the person joins he can pay the monies in in installment but yeah it's all like basically it's an advance payment only it's not like that after the class is paying it's not like that it's basically advance payment but yeah one demo is there and then the person can pay it in installments in that way okay oh okay 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 so so if for anyone preparing to learn the german language is there any advice you have for the person the uh, biggest advice which i would see uh, which i would give to everyone is that you know from wherever you learn it's not necessary that you learn from us only there are thousands of people you learn any from anywhere but make sure from wherever you are learning the source should be authentic okay you need to check few attributes before you pay your money first is the the biggest way to check is that contact the uh, basically the past students who have already cleared the exam right okay that is the best thing right if it, today if i am saying that okay someone has contact cleared b1 exam someone has cleared b2 exam i need to have a proof of that okay so that is the because you know if you are paying thousand dollars before that at least you need to verify a source whether they have already delivered that result or not yes. so please check the authenticity of the course many times uh, i have seen people i have seen people just like the example which i gave you today right that person yeah. his friend uh, from us right and uh, he was not good in the grammar he already holds b1 b2 certificate so you can understand the person has already spent so much of money and so much of time right money is something you can earn it back but time is something which you cannot earn it back right you have spent 8 or 9 months of uh, effort and after that the feedback is that the person is not good in the grammar i'll tell you his story he was telling me that uh, when the when that person starts to interact with his clients in german people start using english they say that okay stop stop let's discuss in english directly that is the condition so that is not just one example i have like you know daily we are getting this kind of inquiries that the person has spend some money here and there and you know the like uh, uh, sometimes uh, online frauds also happen these days okay the okay. person uh, takes your money he just runs away this kind of uh, uh, frauds also happen many times the person from which you are learning you are not able to verify uh, his identity you are not able to verify how much results he has delivered in the past so the best thing which i would suggest to everyone is that before you pay your money before you join anyone make sure that you speak to his past students okay. right 
Okay. okay. And that thing we openly say to everyone, right? If anyone joins to me, that is my first line that before you join me, if you have any, any, any curiosity, you know, many times the person is uh, like kind of shy. He cannot ask everything to me directly. So many times they prefer to ask from the past students. So definitely you ask to them, whether you are from engineering background, whether you are a housewife, whether you are a nurse, whether you are a doctor, whether you are an MBA, whether you are a chartered accountant, we have domains of all category of people who have learned us, uh, learned with us in the past and uh, who are learning right now. Okay. So all kind of referrals I can provide you. So uh, that's the biggest thing which uh, everyone uh, needs to follow okay. before you put your money anywhere. That is first thing. And secondly, once you have got the correct source, then uh, make sure that uh, you keep lot of, uh, you know, lot of patience is required actually. Patience, it's not about only German. Whenever you are learning a language, see learning a language till the advanced level means that you are absorbing one complete culture of a country in your in your brain yeah okay it's not just like you are speaking some sentences you are basically uh, digesting that complete culture okay whether it is german whether it is french or whether it is spanish whatever new language you learn always make sure that you are uh, first thing is that you are keeping some patience learning a language is not an overnight journey you yeah. cannot finish it in 10 days or 15 days or one month okay, okay. you need to devote time dedicatedly, seriously, at least for eight or nine months properly. I'm talking about the B2 level. If you want B1 level, you can reduce two months, like minimum six months properly. Okay. okay with a lot of uh, effort. That much is required. Okay. That is one thing. And uh, second thing, second one, uh, very specific thing, which I would like to say to everyone, see, never learn a language just to clear the certification exam. Mm. Okay. Certification exam is one thing but that should not become your priority initially okay. okay again i am repeating i am not against the exam definitely you write you need to write the exam you need to clear the exam also in the single attempt itself but yeah. what i am saying is that you know there are two approaches the mm -hmm. first approach is that that you run behind the exam from day one okay that i want to clear the b1 exam i want to clear the Gyothe b1 exam 99 percent people fall in this category 99 percent Okay. They run behind the exam from day one, whether it is a career requirement, whether it is a, like uh, any visa requirement, whatever is there, people run behind the exam from day one. This is a totally wrong approach, right? Please don't run behind the exam from day one. Your focus should be that, okay, by the end of five or six months, I need to become fluent in the language. That should be the target. Okay. okay. If you make that target, then the exam will become very easy. That is the reason, you know, we have people who have cleared B1 or B2 exam in the single attempt without lagging in any of the modules, right? Okay. Because for us, this is the last thing to do, okay. right? Okay. You will see in our training, we don't even discuss anything about the exam. Today I have discussed everything because it's like basically all the newcomers will be watching this video. But in my training, I never talk about the exam. We talk about the exam at the last one third stage of the course. If you talk about A1 till B2, right? I told you we have 100 sessions. Yeah. So once you reach 60th or 65th session, right? Once you reach this much, by that time, the focus should be that the language should be on your tongue. And after this, the last one third, we start the exam preparation. Okay. And then when we start the exam preparation, we make the person practice more than five or 10 mock papers. Most majority of the books we use, all that story starts after that. But there's a difference in the approach. You know, by the time you reach this level, you would be already fluent in the language. Okay. okay. After that, you just have to see some exam papers that what kind of questions are going to come, what is their pattern, what is their marking scheme, all that you have to understand. But there's a proper time for that. So initially, don't run behind the exam from day one. Make sure that uh, your objective of spending so much of money and time is to learn the language, not just to clear the exam. Okay. okay? That should be the target that learn the language. Don't just run behind uh, clearing the exam. Okay. And see, if I talk about the exam paper also, in the B1 and B2 exams, it is basically, it's a very practical exam. Okay. Practical. I'm talking about B1, B2. Practical means that how the exam is conducted. You will be having a group of two or three or four people in the exam. Uh, the uh, Basically the applicants, three or four people kind of uh, thing will be there in each batch. The invigilator will give you one topic to speak. One, okay. one simple activity I'm telling. He will give you a topic to speak. You will get barely seven to 10 minutes to speak in the exam, barely seven to 10, 
right in those 7 to 10 minutes everything comes out whether you know the grammar or not whether you know the vocabulary or not whether you have learned the language correctly or not everything comes out in those 7 to 10 minutes okay so this is what i am saying that the target should be to speak the language fluently if you make that target the exam automatically automatically becomes very easy for you okay. right but if you just run behind the exam from day one it might happen that you fall in that category you clear the exam still you are not able to speak that thing should not happen okay okay okay, okay. so yes. do, do you do you also help people uh, your students to register for the exams yes definitely we help them right it's a exam registration is a very very easy process the nowadays you can understand everything is online okay so you just have to drop a email to them uh, whichever country you are or whichever city you are in uh, you need to check out the nearest center so we mm -hmm. provide that list of centers to them we provide their email address along with the phone number though everything is already mentioned on the jyothe websites but yeah still we help the students to uh, basically navigate to, through them and uh, just to see uh, which is the correct place to apply and what time how they have to apply them all that guidance we provide it's a very easy process right uh, nothing much serious in that oh okay okay so uh, mr raman i think we can end here you have given us a lot of information yes. really appreciate your time mm -hmm.